480th contact. Saturday, the 3rd of October 2009, 2.58 p.m. Billy says. It deals with the statement that gigantic masses of ice can melt away on Earth because of the climate change and the sun's influence, through which the tremendous pressure, caused by the ice, may have the effect that the Earth is arching up and probably may increase its rotation. Obviously, certain people have taken it the wrong way, because they has gone through the wrong because they marked that the rotation speed slows through such a process. Of course once again it is a case of scientifically and horched no expression in English who, on the one hand are understanding everything falsely, and, on the other hand, do not reach the point of that what is the issue, because they are lacking the necessary intelligence. Patar says. That claim is non-cynical, because if Earth would slow down its rotation speed through the melting process of the ice masses, the arching up of the Earth would have to reach above the height of the melting ice. This means, that the arching up of the Earth in its mass, weight and scope would have to be greater than the melting ice mass. This will not be the case, however, if there will really be such a gigantic melting of ice worldwide, which does not correspond to a prediction, but to a possibility only. If the enormous melting of the ice should really become a reality in apocalyptical dimensions worldwide, the arching up of Earth will be very minimal and calculated within the range of a few meters, while the ice masses have to be measured hundreds and thousands of meters in thickness. This means that although the arching up of the underground, on which the ice is melting away, Earth's outer total circumference is reduced, through which an increased rotation speed of the planet can result. But for the time being this is just a thesis and possibility and, therefore, nothing from which a prediction or probability calculation could be made. It is very clear though that those people are thinking unrealistically and do not understand the whole thing in the meaning of the possible facts, who are mocking about that which we have discussed as a thesis and possibility regarding the worldwide melting of the ice and the resulting effects. Even a human being who does not understand the matter can confront himself with that which we have discussed in his thoughts to the extent that he grasps that the arching up of a surface can be only as great high as corresponds to the original extent slash height, before something heavy lies on it and the surface is pushed in. If the pressure and the dentrisp that result from an enormously heavy weight, disappear from the surface, then the pushed in surface returns to its original state. Billy says. And then that's the arching up through which Earth returns to its real circumference which is somewhat shorter without the gigantic ice masses, which then can or could lead to an increased rotation and movement. Patar says. That's the meaning of that which has been explained. The End